Hello, 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 hello everyone. I hope you're doing well, you're fit and fine, and you're solving practice problems. So, before starting off today's problem, that I just want to discuss, I want to discuss with you guys, that we have recently started a series start kiye, in it, which is in-depth OOP series, which you have ever found on YouTube or any course, ki covering every interview question, covering every practice question, all concepts, in all in step by step manner and in a sequential manner that you learn everything and you won't forget with real life example with live coding we are doing and you practice also at the same time so do check it out this series and this i made with too much efforts right let's quickly jump off to today's problem so today's problem is fraction to recurring decimal this is a medium problem and it actually is a medium problem i could say the implementation is hard as well if you can say that it is Edge cases, one time the wrong answer, I hoga, I hoga, pukka I hoga, right? So I know that, how many wrong answers is a question? How many? Do, tell, do let me know in the comments. I also have three, so don't worry about that. I also explain that my I also got three. It, it happens sometimes, so don't be disheartened, okay? So given to integer represents the numerator and denominator of fraction. Return the fraction in a string format. If a fraction part is repeating, enclose the repeating part as a parenthesis. Uh, multiple answer possible return any of them it is guaranteed that the length <clears throat> of the answer string is less than 10 power 4 or for all given inputs okay fine there is no problem regarding that Ab, kya kare, Sayyam, i didn't know it's very simple first thought is are a very very simple divide a by b yaar. if a divide b then we will do something hmm, a divided b and convert kar de de, isko string mein, decimal wale mein, and then return kar de de. It obviously don't wanna go. Beginners will think like that. And some pro will think, oh, I know what is the difference between the terminating and the non-terminating part. I remember from school days, right? 10th class, you remember these nostalgic days. So yes, this is a concept of terminating and non-terminating. So when did you say terminating and non-terminating, right? If you remove the common factors and from A by B, let's say you remove all the common factors and then B is just of have factors of 2s and 5 only, then only you can say that this is a terminating, else why this is non terminating. Non terminating. Okay. Let's say if I give you an example, it's like 3 by 8, it will be, termi it will be terminating 0 0.625775, sorry. And when you give 1 by 6, it's non-terminating 0.1666. But yeah, if you have some common factors, let's say 3 by 24. So what you're going to do? Firstly, remove the common factors and then you can say. After removing, it should be powers of 2 and 5. Then we can say that. Okay. So this logic, we understand how to differentiate between. Because that is important, right? Terminating and non-terminating. Okay. Yeah. That much we understood, but Sayam, we got still with too much wrong answer. So, there are too many edge cases. We'll cover everything one by one. Wrong answer that might you get, you might get for this. The intuition number one, or we can say the edge case number one. Negatives. You must have forgot that there was negatives also available. So, you have to check whether... The sign of the numerator and denominator is different. If they are different, then you have to put explicitly a negative sign. Right? So you have to keep a flag variable sort of to keep track of whether you have to put at the end when converting into a string a negative. Because when you convert into a string of a negative minus 5, it does not understand this minus 5. Right? You can give directly 5. That would be always better. Right, and then you put negative by yourself. Some people think you oh, directly put minus 5. No, what is the problem? No, 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 it does not work like that. Okay, so this is important thing. But people be like, Are yaar, ye bhi try kiya tha, but fir se wrong answer a gaya. Why? Because of this tricky example, you cannot convert a negative this power into a string or it's into a number, right? Or a string basically, because this is not, if you convert it, it's negative, it's not available. Basically, in the string part, two string part, it's not an integer, it's out of integer range. So, mostly before converting to its absolute thing, convert into a long, long. So, that's another edge case. It's the edge case two. Convert into long, long. That's very, very important. And then convert it to absolute thing. Because absolute one, we will put 
जो अपना फ्लैग था नेगेटिव साइड विल पुट एक्सप्लेसिटली वी डोंट नीड टू थिंक अबाउट मच जस्ट डू द पॉजिटिव बाय पॉजिटिव डिवीजन देन वी विल सी दैट वी हैव टू पुट अ नेगेटिव साइन ऑन नॉट ओके टिल हियर टू यू थॉट ऑफ दिस इज वेरी सिंपल फाइन देन नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू डिवाइड आवर केसेस व्हाट आर द पॉसिबल केसेस दैट व्हाट वी विल डू टू चेक वेदर इट इज टर्मिनेटिंग और नॉट सो व्हाट वी गोना डू इज लेट्स रिमूव ऑल टूस एंड फाइव्स फ्रॉम denominator how does it helps so yeah how does it helps so what we will do we'll remove all twos and fives then 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 we'll check whether a divides b or not whether a divides b or not now there are two possible scenarios if it divides what does that mean what does that mean it means that has some whatever common factor remaining let's say 3 and 24 is there right we remove All the two, so it three remains three. That means it is terminating. Only the common factor is remaining. It's terminating, right? And if it is not divides, then it is non-terminating. So we'll handle it separately, okay? Because we have to put parenthesis. Fine, yeah, no problem. So we understood this thing that a divided by b. Then what we'll do? Firstly, we'll remove all the twos and all the fives from the denominator, and then we'll check a divided b or not. If it is divided and terminating. and not terminating yahan tak samajh mein aaya now 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 we have to put decimals as well so if it, when it is terminating also when it is terminating also we'll check we'll check whether our whatever we are reducing whatever b we reduce to let's say attempt now there are two possible scenarios that it contains only twos and powers of twos and fives only and what is that will be like one it 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 could become or it is not equals to one right okay okay you will be like like let's say this is 3 is there and let's say this is like 24 is there right 24 is there so you remove everything and it remains 3 and it it remains by 3 3 itself so it is it it does reduce to this term right now it is not equals to 1 so there will be some decimal part some decimal part will be there But otherwise, 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 let's say this is three by eight is there, three by eight is there, right? So you you remove you remove everything, so it 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 remains like three, and that's all. So you need to think about now what to divide, right? Now there are two possible scenarios, right? Either this you pretty sure that it will terminate. So it it might be possible that either you get a zero remainder. And a non-zero remainder, right? Forget about the above part. I slightly missed it. That zero remainder or non-zero remainder? Okay, yeah, non-zero remainder. If you get a zero remainder, that means you can directly divide. Let's say twenty-five by five, right? Zero remainder, no problem. We remove five. What is remaining? Twenty-five, and it is a zero remainder thing remaining because directly you can divide, right? Okay. And if it is a non-zero remainder in the case of this, then we'll have to put decimal part as well. So how to put decimal part? I hope you know the basic division. So what we do? We took the remainder first, a modulo b, right? We do this thing, and then what we gonna do? We put the quotient part as that. We just, if you remember the normal arithmetic, a a divided by b, and then what we gonna do? R equals to r by ten. Again, what are we gonna do? We gonna divide whatever we are getting divided by the modulo b, and it will be the remainder. And then the quotient will become before putting that quotient will become r by b. Right? This is the basic na triplet division, right? Converting everything to a decimals. Now you will ask me like, why you are doing this manually? We can directly divide, right? No, that won't gonna work because it may have precision issues. Precision issues at higher decimals. Issues at higher decimals. So it's very very important. You don't do that. You will be like, okay, no problem with that. So we understood somehow that okay, we have to do the division, and then when we are doing the division, we have to handle these things that a modulo b, and then we'll see in the implementation part as well. Fine, no problem. That we can we know how to convert into a. Decimal, right? You are gonna be given an integer, 
you're just you're doing a euclid division lemma and then you're quickly creating this is the initial starting points and then till you are doing that when your remainder is not becoming zero right you will be doing this thing until your remainder r is not equals to zero okay you will be like fine now the most important part let's try to discuss about the non terminating part this is very very interesting people miss out one thing here people miss out one thing people thought are it's very easy it's the same thing as above right just do that and what you do just put parentheses in the first brackets and the decimal part whatever we got we just put it here but will it work always no this is another edge case see 1 by 6 if you do right it's 0.166666 so you don't put 16 bracket you put only a 6 bracket that's very very important many of people i think made mistake here itself that don't do this it's not always after this whole part will be in the parenthesis no that's not one other case this is more important right so you have to think about this as well mm -hmm. now i understood everything now how to handle this it's pretty simple that what you going to do you keep a map variable that why map is required because we want to check whether we repeat six again or not and when we repeat see whenever we repeat this let's say 3 2 1 and we again got 3 that means this and this are important so this is important when we repeat something sort of a index if we know that when we repeat then we have to say oh this we have to put in the parenthesis part and whatever is the remaining part we'll put it as it is okay this is the idea we'll keep a map mp for tracking duplicates okay the main part of this is implementation only how you handle all the edge cases this is the most important part of this problem so let's quickly go to the code we have already explained you the examples and i will show you that how to do that okay so it's a interesting problem so firstly what we did we did numerator as and just checking the signs of negative things opposite signs okay and then we are setting flag to false or true okay then we have to put a negative sign or not I mean, initialize our answer. This is very important step. H case number one. H case number one we handled that firstly convert everything into long long, which won't cause the division issues of the out out of the integer ranges issue. Okay. Then what we do? Oh, this is another thing that a equals zero, then it is zero. It's a trivial case. Then what we do? This we did. Remove all the twos and fives. Then we will check. Then we will check that if our temp is equals to 1 okay now our temp only contains only contains right powers of 2 and 5 of 2 and 5 okay now we check if a modulo b equals to equals to 0 that means what There is no decimal part. You can directly write answer to string a by b. It will be a uh, integer itself, right? So no need to worry about that. I just directly written the answer. Elsewise, what you have to do is it's it's pretty simple. That what you gonna do? Just do a answer a by b. If flag is there, right? That's so putting negative and positive. Now if a modulo b is not not equal to zero, so firstly put the quotient part. We put the quotient part, and then what we did? We put the All the remainder, which I explained, right? Firstly, initialize remainder by a modulo b and quotient by a by b, and then while remainder is not equal to zero, you are putting what? You are putting the values of the decimal part. Let's say you are the three by eight, right? So you will put six, then two, this sorry, six, seven, and five. This you are putting at the answer every time of the question. This six, and then seven, five, and then you are. What do you wanna do? You just gonna check, and you gonna return this answer. Okay. this is fine now another case is of the non non repeating decimal we are covering this returning this answer here itself okay you are finally returning this answer if flag is negative or flag is positive fine 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 and this is the non terminating decimal part okay non terminating decimal part so we will do the same thing but there is a slight difference between the above thing and the below thing is that here we know that we have to put parenthesis and there it will Won't terminate. R won't become zero. If you know that, right? That's the difference between the above operations. So what we're gonna do is we do the same thing. Firstly, add the quotient. We add a dot. But here is a slight difference. We have to initialize a map. 
we have to initialize a map for that. Why we have initialized the map? To track whether previous repeating part is already covered or not. So we are checking until previous repeating part is covered or not. And also we are maintaining the indexes at which index it repeats. Let's say 166. So it repeats at this index. We have to keep track of that. So what are we going to do? Before that, that if repeats at this index, okay. So before this length, we copy the same thing. And then what we're going to do, we just copy this until the size. And then what we're going to do is this. Okay. So this is fine. And then what we're going to do is we copy the whole thing. This we copy one and then six. And until we find another six, we copy this. This is our length. Length becomes one, the index where till before that we need to copy. So what we're going to do before just the length, we copy the same thing. We copy this 0 0.1. We copy and this 6 is remaining. Then we'll put a parenthesis and whatever part till the length to this. You can say that till we go to dumb dot size. MP of R is basically nothing but length only. So you can say the length also. In into till whatever part is repeating until the size. Because our dumb what is creating all the part till it is repeating which is will repeat because let's say it's like 0 0.1 2 3 and 2 right so what we're gonna do is we put this separately firstly add this add a parenthesis 2 then 3 and then put a parenthesis back because we find this this is our dumb this is our dumb okay and then we're gonna do a dumb and then we put our answer this and if the flag is this positive we don't directly return the answer if it is not put an answer extra like means a negative extra and then return the answer so it's a beautiful question you must have understood the logic that okay that what we have did how we divided the cases and how we solved the part of terminating and the non-terminating decimal parts so i hope you understood the entire intuition and the thought process do let me know in the comments that if you have face any doubt and how many wrong answers you did that okay so see you in the next video bye bye